Hello, and welcome to Today in AI, the show that gives you daily updates of the newest news in AI. Let's get right into it. GTA is realistic. Intel is making it even better. Here's how. So we all know GTA is known for being hyper realistic, but Intel Labs came out with a new feature it developed called photorealism enhancement. Photorealism simply means that a simulated scene appears indistinguishable from a photograph, or by extension, from real life. The Intel team took photos from German cityscapes and used the convolutional neural network to adjust lighting, color, texture quality, and most notably the car's glossiness within the game to make it look absolutely real. The difference is massive as we see in the footage and the side-by-side -side comparisons here. You see the difference in color quality, you see the difference in textures, you see the cars being more glossy. It really shows you a fundamental difference that makes the game feel realistic. So obviously you must be asking, how does this model work? So the input is a simple rendered image. It's basically like a screenshot of what's going on in the game in GTA 5 and the model uses an image enhancement network. And basically what this does, it takes the input image and it tries to make it more realistic into an enhanced image. How does it do this? Uh, well, the model uses something called G buffers and what these G buffers do is they understand the temporal and geometric nuances in the image, the lighting, the glossiness, the texture of each object within the frame and is able to compare that to a realistic image and produce a realism score using a perceptual discriminator. And if the difference between this realistic score, the realistic score of the real image and the realistic score of the enhanced image is minimized, then the model can produce a fairly more realistic game in GTA. A lot of times when we talk about artificial intelligence, we mention problem with bias in the data, and many times that bias can be racial. But it's not because algorithms and computers are racist, it's because of the pre-existing training data that are fed to the algorithms. In a product description of a black action figure, the black action figure was described using the N-word. This product description was translated using an AI-based translator from Chinese to English provided by Amazon. The real issue is that algorithms don't understand stereotypes, racism, or the issues involved using derogatory words. Another crazy example of this is GPT-3, a language model, when given the sentence, two Muslims walked into, 66% of the time, the sentence ended with a prediction of violent sentiments, including words like shooting and killing. When replaced with other religious groups, the violent word association decreased by 40 to 90%. That is shocking. Considering GPT-3 was developed by OpenAI, a leader in the conversational AI industry and AI in general. Solutions to this are kind of tricky and we'll make sure to follow more stories about AI ethics when it relates to race in the future. But I remember seeing a lot of stories about even MIT's training data being racist for security purposes and algorithms. And this has become a widespread problem that we really as a community need to try to solve by creating more accepting data sets. All right, so we all know that the autonomous car industry is on fire right now. And we're gonna talk about a new company, a big player in the driverless vehicle space, China's WeRide. They were recently valued at over $3 billion, initially backed by Nissan. This company is hungry to get into the EV space. Now, make no mistake, this company doesn't build autonomous cars like Tesla might. It actually builds systems that are mounted onto cars, and that's why it collaborated with Nissan to build systems that are mounted onto Nissan cars to make them autonomous. Right now, WeRide is focusing on the taxi industry in China, as that industry makes takes up a large percent of uh, market share in terms of autonomous vehicles. That is what is the most popular and efficient implementation of the technology right now. Now here's some footage of WeRide's technology in action as the autonomous taxi rides around.
because the technology is mounted onto cars and not integrated within the vehicle, um, it allows WeRide to grow and work with other automotive companies a lot more seamlessly than a company that was developing software and hardware that needed to be directly integrated into the car's uh, hardware. Now the potential of this company is massive in the next five years and I'll definitely be keeping track in this company in the coming months and releasing any news that comes with new technology output from WeRide. Make sure to let me know down below what you thought about some of the news stories I presented in today's an AI episode and make sure to like and subscribe down below. It's totally free and it really helps the channel. Thank you guys for watching the video up until now. I'll see you next time. Peace.